So the next non-metallic inorganic irritant poison we need to discuss is iodine. Iodine exists in the form of brown metallic lustrous crystals. Whenever they vaporize, they give violet color vapors and they have a characteristic odor. Now the action of iodine is same as the corrosive poisons, that is they precipitate proteins. They act as strong irritants to the GI tract and respiratory tract. Now the signs and symptoms of iodine poisoning can be divided into acute and chronic poisoning. The chronic poisoning is also known as iodism. The acute poisoning is uh, same as the irritant and corrosive poison symptoms. Pain, corrosion of mouth, GI tract, thirst, all the same symptoms are found here as well. Yellow or brown staining of the mouth is seen. Severe abdominal pain is there. Vomiting and diarrhea is there. The vomitus and the stool contains dark yellow brown or blue, uh, blue colored vomitus or stool. The characteristic smell can be observed. The urine is dark brown in color and has albumin in it. There is marked depression that is weak pulse and delirium and collapse. Whenever it is inhaled acutely, it can cause sudden death due to hypersensitivity or edema of the glottis leading to asphyxia. Now, chronic iodism presents as headache, inflammation of nasal mucosa and bronchi called acute coryza and bronchial catarrh. Conjunctivitis can be seen face and eyelids are edematous and the patient collapses now the fatal dose and fatal period of iodine in solid form two gram of iodine is enough to cause death in tincture form eight to ten ml of iodine is required the fatal period is usually 24 hours though when inhaled it can cause rapid death due to hypersensitivity that is uh, anaphylactoid reaction or shock and due to edema of glottis as previ previously described leading to asphyxia. Now treatment of iodine poisoning includes stomach wash with 1% starch, demulcents such as milk, fatty substances etc should be given. Antihistamines and steroids should be given for the hypersensitivity reactions. Increased NACL intake speeds up recovery. Now in case of death due to iodine poisoning, there is skin rash and edema can be seen. Yellow brown staining of the mouth can be seen. Corrosion of the GIT mucous membrane. Edema of the glottis can be seen leading to asphyxia edema of lungs, effusion to pericardium and pleura is seen, kidney glomerulus and tubular necrosis is seen, there is fatty degeneration in the liver and heart and lungs. Now medical legal aspects, it can be used for suicide, it's not used for homicide because any food uh, containing starch is turned blue when iodine is added to it. It can be used in vitriolage, a strong solution is used here. Children can be attracted to its bright color and cause poisoning. Iodine can be used as a chemical antidote against uh, oxidizable poisons. In this case, a weak solution of iodine is used and water can be made drinkable by adding iodine.